Hey everyone, I have an exciting video for you today. We're partnering with NC Scale to talk about observability and monitoring, what it is, why you should care about, and how you might use it in a no code framework with both Xano and NC Scale. So, my name is Michael Udinsky. I am the developer advocate lead at Xano, and I am joined by Benoit. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Thank you, Michael. So, I'm Benoit the founder and the CEO of NC Scale, uh, this uh, monitoring tool for, for, uh, for no code. Awesome. So let's dive into it. So you might be asking, what is observability and monitoring? So before we start, it's important to define both of these things. So observability and monitoring. So monitoring focuses on tracking specific metrics in your application. Specifically, it's really helpful when you know exactly what potential failure points might be. So for example, maybe slow API endpoints or one that might be susceptible to failure or might be mission critical. Monitoring is really going to help you assess the health and performance of specific API endpoints. So you can you know, set up monitoring so your monitoring have eyes and ears on specific things that you might be worried about or might be troublesome in your application. Whereas observability is basically everything, kind of the entire ocean of your application. And observability is really important because it also uncovers things you might not know about, especially as your app starts to grow in complexity so can your failure points. So when you start out with a simple application, you might know exactly what specific failure points are or you know API endpoints you might be worried about, but as it grows and grows and grows, these things can also grow with complexity. So where monitoring, you are assessing health and performance of maybe specific APIs, observability is gonna help you assess the health and performance of your entire application. So across all your APIs, across all your business logic. And it's also going to help you uncover and determine if something is not working correctly, why it is, and give you the tools to help diagnose if something may be a problem or not that you might not be aware of. Benoit, is there anything you want to add to kind of monitoring and observability? Yes. For example, for monitoring uh, of an of, of, uh, of, of external instance, uh, it could be uh, uh, to monitor all API call errors. And so you know exactly what are your, your critical uh, API uh, endpoints. And so you, you, you want to be alerted as soon as there is an error on a specific API call. And for observability, uh, if we can give one example or so for, for Xano, it is to be able to see a dashboard with all your API call and to see the performance for each of them. So the, uh, the, the average execution time for each of them. And so you can see things that you wasn't uh, able to, uh, uh, to track before or you, you was not aware about this kind of, uh, of, of performance issue. And so with this kind of dashboard, you can see immediately that, okay, I need to, uh, to track also this performance because I just know that there's a slow API. So it is a, so it is a tool to, to give you some uh, some guidance to know where you need to put effort to improve your no code uh, infrastructure. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for tying that in with uh, an example of how that might actually look. And so when we talk about observability and monitoring, it's important to understand some of the traditional tools out there in the market. Uh, there's things, and you may or may not have heard of that, and that's okay. There's things like Datadog, New Relic, and also Dynatrace that are some of these traditional tools when it comes to observability and monitoring. Now, with these traditional tools, there can be some things that you might want to be aware of. Uh, they can be difficult to set up cut by complex systems. They also oftentimes require domain expertise in this DevOps and cloud you know, observability and monitoring realm. Or it could be costly to hire someone who's an expert who knows, you know, these platforms and uh, really knows this world. And it, obviously, they're not no code friendly. But that's what NC Scale has come to solve the problem of to bring observability monitoring and make it accessible 
to a no-code audience. So NC Scale is sort of like the data dog for no code. And what's really cool with Xano in just one or a couple clicks, you are automatically set up to start observing and monitoring uh, your APIs, your background tasks, really your app's performance so you can have eyes and ears on what's going on. With NC Scale, observability and monitoring is user-friendly, a very user-friendly interface that's easy to understand, also providing dashboards, and super easy to set up Slack alerts for when you do want to monitor maybe specific APIs so you're quickly alerted if something is going wrong. So when should you start thinking about observability and monitoring? So, you know, one example use case or scenario is you might have a few mission critical APIs. You know, you can connect to NC Scale with a click of the button to set up some Slack alerts. You know, if they become slow, so you're monitoring them so you can alert yourself because maybe that's affecting the overall experience for your users of your application. Maybe something's going wrong. Either way, you can set up so that if alerted, you can then maybe notify if, let's say, you're working on a team, whoever owns maybe that particular API endpoint to say, hey, you need to go in there and see if there's a problem, but go ahead and diagnose and quickly resolve the issue. Now, I'll also add, I think it's you know always a good time to start thinking about observability and monitoring, especially when you're sort of leaving this development phase and getting ready to start either, you know, um, maybe stress testing your application and start to really launch to a group of users. Because once you have people using your application, you do want to start to figure out, okay, you know, is there going to be uh, specific failure points? Can I stay on top of it so that my users aren't coming to me and saying, hey, why is it working? You can hopefully quickly diagnose and resolve anything that might be going wrong. You know, and all this is to say, this is really why you know, Xano and NC Scale built this partnership to bring observability and monitoring into, you know, your no code backend. And with that, I'll sort of pass it next to Benoit, who will showcase, you know, NC Scale and Xano working in tandem. Uh, thank you, Michael, for this introduction. Uh, so I will share with you uh, how to connect your Xano instance to NC Scale and how you can create uh, your first dashboard and, and also your first alerts uh, on Slack. Um, so first, uh, as soon as you have created your uh, NC Scale account, you will have your, your application here, and you will need to connect your Xan instance to uh, NC Scale by, by going to on settings and on tools. And then here, you can connect a new tool. And you just have to click on Xano to add your Xano instance. So you need your metadata API key here of your uh, instance to be able to uh, connect it. Then when you paste your API key of your metadata API, uh, you, you will be uh, redirected immediately to your Xano instance. And you just need to go to the connect tab. It should be uh, open. And then you click on connect. And you will need to select your NC Scale app in your um, in this pop-up, and then it's done. So you will see that you are sending automatically all API call, all log statements, and also all task history to NC Scale. If we go back to NC Scale, you will see all your logs. In, in your NC scale uh, logs uh, tab. So if I want to just select only my Xando tools uh, logs, I can see all my logs here. And there is also something important. If you need to go back on your uh, Xando log, you can just click on go to original log and it will open di directly your native log from Xando. So it will be easier to debug to have more details about this log here also. So the, these logs are kind of like giving, uh, you know, eyes and ears and everything, sort of like the observability we talked about. And then you see something wrong, you can kind of go in there and say, okay, what's this? And connect, jump directly to Xander. That's awesome. Exactly. 
And you have also many data directly on NC scale to be able to create some alerts and some views directly from this data. So you have enough data to do what you need to, uh, to monitor your, your, uh, your app. So after, after con uh, connecting your, your Xano to your NC scale app, uh, the first thing is you see all data incoming. So with your logs and also you can go directly on the APM. So the, the application performance monitoring, and you will be able to see immediately all the uh, slow APIs that, that you can have. So I can see that on this API, I have a one sec uh, execution time and how many calls I add. So it is a good way to see immediately where you can improve the performance of your instance. Okay, so now you know uh, some slow API or sl uh, slow performance uh, API, and you can see also all, all your errors. Now you want to monitor them. So you want to check uh, how many new errors you have, and you want to be alerted on Slack on a specific API, for, for example. So for example, uh, I want to be alerted on my create invoice API. When I have an issue on this API, I, I want to be alerted. So I can take, for example, uh, the last one I had. So it is an error on my API name uh, create invoice. So I will do a filter here, API name, and I will complete with create invoice. It could be with the ID or whatever. And I will add a severity error. So thanks to this, I can just monitor one API, but can, I can also monitor all if I need. And then when I am happy about my filter, I can just create a view or create an alert. So I will show you uh, an alert uh, that I made for a slow API. For, for example, I will take another kind of thing. So, uh, I will take all execution time more than uh, something execution time. So it is SQL uh, editor. And I will do a simple request to be sure that I have some, some logs. So thanks to this, I can monitor all my slow execution time or what I want to, to define as slow. And then I can create uh, an alert for this. So I will show you which kind of, of alert you can create on Slack, for example. So when you create an alert, it will automatically open this uh, screen. So you will retrieve here your condition. So execution time more than uh, one sec, for example. And you can define on which channel you want to be alerted, by email, via, via Slack, or via Webhook. And also, you can add a, 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 a threshold to avoid being too much alerted. So if you want to be alerted only if, if you have five slow API call in the last minute, you can define this. So it will be easier to, avi to avoid uh, overwhelming uh, alerts. So that's the big issue in monitoring. It's just to have too many uh, alerts and so you don't uh, read them. Um, and now, as you have a Slack uh, channel, you can custom what information you want to push in this channel. It could be via Webhook or via email, but uh, I, I can share with you one example here. If I want to know what is the name of the API with, with, with the issue, I can just type here API, and I will see immediately all the information of my logs. So API name, as you saw just before, it is a uh, create invoice. And I can also add execution time. And I can add uh, the log URL to be able to open it. So, uh, so you can add as you want as key. And on Slack, you have block kit uh, to build a pretty uh, uh, message. And so you can directly add here your block kit. But I will share with you some examples. So we have a, a specific Xano slow API template that you can copy and paste. And you will have directly on Slack uh, two buttons to open the log on NC scale or on Xano directly. And you will have also the execution time 
to to be sure that it is a very slow or not a very slow uh, execution time. And directly on your on your uh, on your Slack, you can see that you can have this. And if I click directly on my uh, Slack, I can open directly my Xano uh, log. So that's very important to be able to uh, to personalize your alerts, to be able to create actionable alerts and not only uh, one alert that you never read. So thanks to this, you can also uh, add, add here a mention of one teammate in your Slack channel because you can just add here the ID of the Slack uh, user. So you can uh, create specific alerts for each, uh, each uh, teammate uh, directly here. So I think we, we saw, uh, so after connecting, you have your logs, then you have the dashboard uh, automatically uh, populated uh, with the performance and other things. And then you can create your custom alerts to monitor important things and critical things in your uh, Excel instance. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, this is so cool because it's it's giving you so much more, like, I think, advanced eyes and ears and letting you even do custom things like views and customize your alerts. But, you know, it's also making sure that everything's actionable, like you just said, right? Like, it's one thing to be notified and alerted, but can you take action? And also, can you take action quickly to resolve something? Which is super awesome. You're able to, you know, like that Slack alert, jump right to the logs, jump right to Xano um, to get in there to diagnose, to resolve it quickly. So, and it's, you know, the interface is beautiful. Love the new dashboards. That's a really nice touch as well. So, very powerful. So, yeah, I would say, you know, especially, you know, I know NC Scale, you guys have integrations with other tools as well, but, you know, if, you're a Xano user and you haven't yet checked out NC Scale. It's it's free to to get started. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. It's free for for fifty thousand uh, logs. So I think it is enough to test. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's very generous. So yeah, absolutely. Go and sign up. Connect it to Xano. And you know, even if you're in a development phase, it might be just kind of uh, start to nice to see how as you're making APIs calls, how these logs populate, how you might use them, set up some example alerts. Um, because when you get to that launch phase, this will become just more and more important. Any other uh, closing thoughts you'd like to add, Benoit? Um, yes, we, we we have many users. We we web as as, as a front end, for example. So we have also a plugin for we web, and 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 you can check also uh, that we have an API for any other front end. So you can push your own logs uh, into NC Scale. Uh, from your code uh, things also, and not only no code. So finally, you can uh, centralize all your uh, logs in the same place from Xano and from other tools to be able to monitor them in an easy way with, with, with a one-click uh, 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 setup. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's so cool that uh, something you know as complex typically as observability and monitoring is now just so so accessible, uh, easy mm -hmm. to use, easy to diagnose. So, you know, I think NC scales filled such a, a big, a big need, you know, in, in the no code space and, uh, it's going to really benefit, uh, just so many applications. Thank you, Mike. Yes, of course. Well, I think that's all we have for today. So thank you all for watching. Uh, once again, Go check out NC Scale connected to uh, your Xano backend and uh, you know start monitoring uh, and observing what's going on with your with your application. So thank you, Benoit, for for joining me today, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video.